All right, and we are back here on the GSMC Football Podcast. And for the final segment of the show, we're going to talk about the Cincinnati Bengals and uh, whether or not, you know, for me, I think they're back or not. Uh, Well, first I'm going to come out and say, still, wait and see when it comes to them. But uh, based on their performance on Sunday, that was very encouraging. Um, I mean... One of the main points people were talking about is Joe Burrow's calf and maybe how it's starting to look a little bit better, which, yeah, I mean, it did. Threw for over 300 yards, three touchdowns, and an interception. But obviously the bigger story coming out of that game was the performance of Jamar Chase. 15 receptions for 192 yards and three touchdowns. And the Bengals won 34-20. to Now, again, it's the Arizona Cardinals. They've been competitive this year. But, um, I, I mean, listen, the way the Bengals played last week against the Titans, I mean, and how they've kind of looked offensively so far this year, I mean, you're going to take that. So, um, I just want to look at the, uh, go through the Bengals' upcoming schedule. So, they do have a decent amount of tough games on their schedule here. So, with next week... They got a home game. That's against the Seahawks. That's a tough game. That's a tough game because the Seahawks are a very good offensive team. Um, you know, so that that's going to be tough for the Bengals. But, again, it's a home game. So we'll see what happens. Then they go on a bye, which I think is they really need that because that's another week to give Joe Burrow rest and to heal up that calf. So that calf's going to be even better. Um, and, yeah, he's going to need it because coming out of the bye uh, – the Bengals are going to be playing at San Francisco. So that is going to be a really tough game for the Bengals. Because right now, I mean, the 49ers just look unbeatable right now. They, they really do. Um, now, the Bengals do have a very good offense. And if Burrow is, you know, if that calf is feeling a lot better uh, going up against the Niners, you know, we'll see. Because they got the playmakers. I mean, this past Sunday they were out with they were without T. Higgins, um, so you're hoping they get him back. But I mean, I, I still kind of favor the 49ers in that game. But still, I mean, we'll see what happens. Bengals got a very good, uh, very good offense, and especially if Burrow's healthy. Then they play Buffalo at home. Uh, they did beat Buffalo in the playoffs, and actually, this will be uh, you know in Cincinnati this time. And obviously, you know they were playing each other last year late in the season, and that was obviously when the uh, DeMar Hamlin incident happened. Um, but then they were able to you know, play the game in the playoffs, and the Bengals really dominated that game. But that's on Sunday night, Week 9, this year in Cincinnati, so that's going to be a great game. But yeah, two tough games coming out of the bye. And then, of course, you have Seattle. So yeah, that, those are three tough games. Then you got the Texans at home. I mean, I wouldn't say that's a gimme because C.J. Stroud has played well this year. So, I mean, I, I Bengals are the better team, but, I mean, who knows? Then you got the Ravens, uh, well, going to Baltimore. So that's going to be a tough game. They did lose a close game to them last year. I think the final score was like 16-13. Um, so that's going to be a tough game. Then you're home against Pittsburgh, which, again, is, another, is a divisional matchup. That's going to be tough. Then they're at Jacksonville. Then they're home against the Colts, home against the Vikings. So I think those are two wins there, but we'll see. Uh, I mean, the Vikings, it depends on if Justin Jefferson is playing. I mean, it depends on what the Vikings are going to look like in Week 15. I mean, Kirk Cousins might not be there. They might have traded him or something. I don't know. Um, then they're at Pittsburgh, at Kansas City Week 17. That's New Year's Eve. And then they're home against the Browns. So their schedule is tough. It is a tough schedule, but if you have a healthy Joe Burrow and you can continue to ride that and, you know, how Jamar Chase played in this game, if he can continue to do that, because there are just some games where he just disappears. Um, you know, I, I think the I think the Bengals are going to be okay. I think they are. And I think that also when you look at the division, the division is still up for grabs. Because, listen, the funny thing is, I, don't, I really don't understand how he they struggle against the Browns. I just don't get it. It really is one of the weirdest things. The Browns just own Joe Burrow. At least in Cleveland. I mean, last year they they uh, they beat the Browns at home. But, you know, they had that bad loss to them earlier in the season. I mean, they're one game out. Right now the Steelers own first place. I think the Bengals 
you know, can catch can catch up, of course. I mean, well, being one game out, they definitely can. But, yeah, this division is not out of reach by any means. They can definitely, you know, right the ship and get themselves, you know, in that position. Because right now, I mean, you know, the Browns, Deshaun Watson still doesn't look very good. Um, the Browns do have a very good defense. But, you know, you're missing Nick Chubb now. Um, you know, like I just said, Watson doesn't look, you know, the same like he used to. So I, I think the Bengals are better than the Browns. Ravens are dealing with a ton of injuries. I mean, they and they didn't look good on Sunday against the Steelers' defense. So, you know, I, I don't think they're going to run away with the division. I still think the Ravens are a playoff team, and I still think they are a good team and to be respected. But, you know, again, the Bengals, I see them passing them, and I see them passing the Steelers because, listen, the Steelers, they won a very close game against the Ravens, but I think the Ravens also, like, you know, gifted the Steelers with some things. I mean, that interception in the red zone by Lamar was bad. Um, you know, and, and Matt Canada still should not have a job, the offensive coordinator for the Steelers. So combination of all those things, I just look at the Bengals as still the best team in this division. And I think ultimately, even with the tough schedule, they're going to be the ones that have the division crown. I just, I, I, right now that's where I'm leaning towards, but again, that can all change if Joe Burrow ends up getting hurt, like, because I mean, now you're coming out of the bye and you're playing against the 49ers. And that offensive line, you still don't really trust it of the Bengals. So, yeah. And especially with Joe Burrow still dealing with the injury, that's not going to be the best. That is not that is like the worst game. That's the worst team to be going up against coming out of a bye with an injured quarterback if he's still, uh, you know, dealing with the calf injury. But it looks better. I mean, the, the big play to chase... I mean, that was just a great throw and a great catch uh, in the game against the Cardinals. So, I mean, listen, for at least one game, the Bengals looked like they returned to themselves. And, uh, you know, cause, and, it didn't, and it didn't look good, good for a while in that game. Because, like I said yesterday, I mean, the Cardinals had the lead, you know, at, you know, at a certain point in the game in the first half. And if it wasn't for that bad interception by Josh Dobbs, you know, the Bengals wouldn't have taken the lead there. I mean, they probably still end up winning the game, but still. I mean, the Cardinals had the lead. So, you know, but it was definitely encouraging. I, I think to, you know, my takeaway from the game is anything that I saw from them was an improvement. I mean, because, again, like last week, they, they absolutely got destroyed by the Titans. 27-3. to 3. So... Um, and you know what? Listen, the conference is tough. I mean, you know, you look around the rest of the conference. I mean, I think the Bengals are better than, you know, every team in the South, even though they just got destroyed by, excuse me, the Titans. Um, you know, you look at the uh, the AFC East. I mean, listen, they did beat the Bills last year. I got to see them play again right now. I'd probably take the Bills over them. But, again, that's because you got the healthier quarterback. Uh, I would probably take the Dolphins over them right now, but again, that's it's also close. I mean, they're they're neck and neck with the Dolphins and the Bills. If again, if Joe Burrow is Joe Burrow, if he's healthy, um, and then over on the AFC West side, I mean, obviously they've had the Chiefs number other than the AFC Championship game. So you know that's it's going to be another close game when they play each other in. Uh, on New Year's Eve, but I think they're better than the Chargers, the Raiders, and the Broncos, of course, you know, so, um, right now, I think their biggest, uh, you know, threats in the conference, I, I mean, I think they're better than the Raven, Ravens, the Bengals, even though the Ravens beat them this year, um, but yeah, I think the top four teams, if the Bengals are full, if Joe Burrow's healthy, I mean, I think the top four teams are the Bills, the Dolphins, uh, the Chiefs, and the Bengals, um, you know, in the AFC. And then you got the Ravens. I'd probably put at like the the number five spot. That's probably what I would do. Jags. I'm still kind of like you know iffy with, just because you know I, I think they benefited from, and we we talked about this, my friends and I, just them you know being in London for a week, and the Bills just getting there, so they were well rested. Um, you know we'll have to see, but 
I mean, you got. I, I, I at least think you got to be encouraged with what you saw from the Bengals on Sunday. Um, and going forward, you know, we'll see what happens. But they got. They really have a tough schedule ahead of them. And again, if Joe Burrow got hurt and has to miss time, which I hope he doesn't, because I'm tired of seeing injuries. But you know, it's going to keep happening over the course of this season. You know, if Joe Burrow got hurt, then this conversation's out the window. But he gets healthier, and the bye week, you know, heals him up even more. Bengals are going to be good. They are. And, I mean, they got so many playmakers on offense. Um, they have a good team. The defense is good. Uh, they, should, they should be okay. So... For me, it's kind of a wait-and-see approach, but I'd probably lean towards saying, yeah, based on what I saw and based on you know the performance Jamar Chase had. Because he, he said in his interview after the game against the Titans, you know, he's always open. And uh, he was open a lot on Sunday. So, yeah, that's pretty much it uh, for the show today, of course. Uh, great show, as always. Um, obviously, uh got a game on thursday of course we got the broncos and the chiefs so we'll preview that on thursday um figure out what to talk about tomorrow because obviously we're like in the middle of the week now um but yeah we're almost up to uh week six in the nfl which is crazy we're almost uh we're getting to the halfway point already and uh again you got that's why you got to appreciate when football comes back because then it just it just ends like that. So, um, but one of the things that I would say is just can can guys just stop getting hurt? But you know what? That's too much to ask. It's too much because you know it's going to happen. Um, but hopefully, you know maybe I'll be right, but I probably won't. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's really one of the things that I would I would say is just I'm hoping for no more major injuries. And, you know, because players are still talking about, you know, grass and replacing that instead of turf. And uh, I really think there is going to be a conversation to be had because the injuries are just, I mean, it's just getting too much. But we'll have to see what happens with that. But, yeah, another week in the books. Almost halfway through the season already. And, uh, yeah, so tomorrow maybe we talk about, uh, you know, some MVP discussion uh, that's one thing, one topic that I have in mind at the moment, or that might be something I wait till, you know, we get more towards the, the middle part of the season to go over. Um, but yeah, we'll figure it out, but I thank you guys all for, uh, for tuning in today. Uh, I have yesterday's show, uh, all four parts posted. So if you missed anything from yesterday, um, you know, the four parts of the show are posted for that. Uh, I'll be working on trying to get that up on Spotify. And, uh, and yeah, so we'll be back again tomorrow, uh, same time. And now I'm going to go and record the, uh, the Patreon for today. So with that, that's all the time that we have for today. Once again, I thank you guys for watching. We'll be back again tomorrow, 11 a.m. Eastern Time. And until then, I'm Kenneth Grunfelder signing off from the GSMC Football Podcast brought to you by the GSMC Sports Network. Have a good day, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Take care.